back to Casey's Beer Room. It's time for another beer review, and this is The Big Beer Show. So I was on my way home after finishing work today, and uh, dropped, in to, dropped in to the bottle shop on the way back, saw my mate Raji, told me that he'd only got these in yesterday. It's from Bolta. It's their take on the great Mexican Cerveza. Cerveza in Mexican or Spanish just plainly means beer. So, this is them. It's about a six pack. Um, comes in this clear bottle, uh, 355 mil, 4%. Pretty cool bottle. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it there, but it's got like a ridge around the long neck. I'll put a photo up of that so you can see what I'm talking about. Nice little sun smiley face on the front. So what makes a cerveza is traditionally in Mexico they used corn instead of barley or oats or wheat. So that's what cerveza is. It's a corn beer. Um, I have a read on the back. I didn't put my glasses, so it's going to be a struggle. Uh, they say Bolta Cerveza, Spanish for tastes like a great Arvo. So there's not really much point in putting this in a glass because it's in a clear bottle, which is not the norm for the craft breweries. Um, it also says on the back that it's made in under authorization or something from outside breweries, whatever that means. That we are the bolts as part of the um, Asahi, so Asahi probably get it made out in I don't know where would you say maybe Lion Tui's or something. Uh, I'm not very prepared tonight. I don't even have a bottle opener out. Okay, let's go. Let's crack her open. Not so hard, is it? Thank you, Duff. We'll give it a smell. Yep, smells like beer. Let's get her in the glass. So I've had three of these already. They taste pretty good. There's no point, I don't feel, even putting lemon in it. Doesn't need it. That looks fantastic. It even looks nice with that Byron Bay Brewery little palm tree on the front, so. Okay, so as you can see, slow amount of carbonation, crystal clear, very light colored amber that. That's crystal clear. It's almost like a magnifying glass looking through that. That looks sensational. Yep. So it does smell like beer. It's very malty. Nice little white froth on top. Let's give it a taste. Doesn't taste like corn. Um, it's got that sweetness like that you'll get from a lager because it pretty much is a lager it's just a little bit drier so um, if we want to compare it to Corona very similar I guess Soul um, very similar it is. They haven't gone overboard and tried to make this beer something else by adding weird stuff to it. It tastes like a cerveza. Um, it's actually quite refreshing and crisp. Man, you could just be slamming these back all day, all summer this year. When it gets to some of this season, man, these will be going off, I reckon. I think I paid 
about 20 maybe 23 dollars for the six pack i'm thinking a, a, um, i'll put the price up when I, after i um, edit this i'm thinking a carton of 24 might be around um, 65 dollars but i'll put the price up so you're probably seeing the price anyway so we just ignore what i've said but to me this is the taste of summer a nice refreshing dry crisp cerveza if you want put some lemon in it add a bit of zest to it I really like it. I think Bolter have done a fantastic job on this cerveza. Like I said, they haven't added it, they haven't done anything to make it weird or taste different. It's just a beautiful summer beer, even though it's winter still. But um, get out there, grab one of these. You'll love it. Uh, all you guys that don't like this big fruity hoppy bit of beers, this is the one for you. If you want to try from a craft brewery, um, yeah, so I'll give it a rating. I'm going to give it a fucking send it for sure. And I'm going to give it a 4.83. 4.83 for the Bolter Cerveza. I did see on tap days, one of the comments was, or styles, they, they said it was a bit watery. To me, at 4%, it's not that watery. Um, I, I recommend it. I reckon this is probably better than Corona, better than Seoul. Um, so, get out there, get yourself a Cerveza, Bolter Cerveza, and enjoy your weekend once again. Don't forget, if you like this video, press the big thumb, um, leave a comment, if you've drunk this, tell me what you think. And if you really love it, share it amongst your friends. So until next time, fucking send it. <sighs> Fantastic. It's like it's already got that lemony zest in it, so you don't even need to add any lemon. It's got a bit of zestiness to it. Couldn't find any information really about what the ingredients are on their website or on Untapped, so get out there, try one.